hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i want to talk about something that every trader faces at some point in his or her trading career and that is finding the right trading strategy for you this today's topic it goes way beyond from just choosing the right indicators or picking the right settings it's really about building a system that matches who you are in deep and that can be your lifestyle your strength and even your weaknesses Step number one here is understanding your personal situation. Think about things like your daily schedule. Are you working a 9 to 5? Do you have time to watch the charts during the day or do you need a strategy that allows you to check in just once or twice? For instance, if you're strapped for time, a day trading system might not be practical for you. Instead, you might want to look at higher time frames where trades don't require constant monitoring. It's really about aligning the strategy with the time you can commit without feeling lashed. The time where you can truly focus on your trades. Step number two is you should consider how often do you want to trade. Another big question is trade frequency. Some traders have this natural need to be in the market frequently. They are comfortable with taking lots of trades and making quick decisions like in and out in the markets. For others, waiting for a handful of good setups a week is a better fit. If you're the type who strives on actions, it makes sense to build a system that generates frequent opportunities. Try to force yourself to only trade once a week when you prefer more action can lead to frustration or even impulsive trades. Next, guys and girls, let's talk about handling open position. This is something a lot of traders don't think about it until they are actually in a trade. If you're comfortable holding trades overnight or through weekends, for example, then swing trading may not be for you. Or maybe you need to adjust your risk level so that you're okay with whatever happens in the market when the markets are closed. And being honest about how these scenarios make you feel will help you choose a trading strategy that minimizes stress and lets you trade more confidently. Step number four is choosing the light time frames. Now your choice here depends on both your time availability and your need for action. If you have limited time, higher time frames like the daily or weekly might be suitable for you because they allow you to plan and analyze without being glued to the screen all the time. But you have to remember, with higher time frames, you need more patience. Trades take longer to play out, so it's important to be okay with waiting for those setups to unfold, and conversely, if you're all about the quick pace, then shorter time frames like the 15-minute or the 5-minute charts might be your comfort zone. Step number five is experimenting with trade management and entries. Now here you have to ask yourself these questions first. Are you someone who likes to use indicators or maybe you prefer the simplicity of price action? I often recommend traders to try different tools like indicators, price action or even a mix just to see what feels most intuitive for you. Some traders feel that indicators don't work for them, but often they just haven't learned how to use them properly. So approach each tool with an open mind. Backtest, record observations, and see what resonates with your style. Remember, this isn't about jumping from system to system, but rather testing with intention and learning along the way. Step number six is, and I might say the most important one is, dedicate your time to backtesting. When you dedicate time to backtest a system, you're not just seeing how it performs, you're also getting familiar with how it feels to execute that system. Give each strategy at least a month or two of focused testing. By the end, you will have a solid understanding of whether it aligns with your goals and you will know exactly how to use it in different market conditions. Plus, all those stats you gather in backtesting will give you confidence to stick with the strategy in the live trading. Now, another thing that you should note is that it's really important to approach trading 
with realistic goals. Many new traders jump in wanting to make big money first, but focusing on that too early can lead to burnout or risky behavior. You will deposit after deposit after deposit. For the first few years, it's more about learning the ropes, getting to know yourself as a trader and mastering the process. The profits here will come to you as you build skill and experience. Think of this time as an investment in yourself. By staying curious and willing to experiment, you will start to see which types of strategies feel more natural and fit your personality the best. Step number eight is record keeping and reflecting on trades. One habit that separates successful traders is good record keeping. A trading journal helps you understand yourself better. When you look back at the trades, you will start to see patterns in your decisions, both good and not so good. Are there certain setups that you tend to rush into? Do you exit trades too early out of fear? Now, a journal will help you to answer these questions. Over time, you will develop a better feel for what works and what doesn't, and you will be able to make adjustments to improve. Step number nine is recognizing your strengths and weaknesses. The more you record and review, the clearer your strengths and weaknesses will become. Some traders are naturally more disciplined, while others may struggle with emotional control. These traits play a huge role in determining which trading strategy suits you the best. If you are aware of your weaknesses, you can tailor your strategy to minimize them. For example, if impatience is an issue, a strategy that keeps you out of the market most of the time might help. Understanding these factors means you are building a strategy around your personality, not forcing yourself into someone else. Step number 10 is staying flexible and curious. This process of finding the right trading strategy is a journey. It's not about getting into it the perfect way. It's about staying open, testing ideas, and making adjustments as you learn. Trading isn't static. Market changes, and sometimes we do too. So it's essential to keep learning and to be flexible with your approach. Try different tools and methods, but always with a plan. Record everything, reflect, and adjust based on what you learn. Over time, you'll develop a system that feels natural and praise to your strength. Guys and girls, that's a roadmap to finding a trading strategy that suits you. There is no one-size-fits-all answer here, but by approaching this process throughout fully and intentionally, you will find what works best for you based on your personality. Now, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more trading insights and tips. Remember, trading is a marathon and not a sprint. Take one step at a time. Always stay curious and don't be afraid to experiment. Until next time, trade smart, stay disciplined, and I will see you in the next video.